Cinema for Peace tries to deal with cinema that makes a difference. I was called a traitor to my country, but mostly because I happened to have been uh, showing up at the Cinema for Peace, which is sort of striking. Of course, it's only fitting that we stand here today on the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, which as many of us know is one of the greatest triumphs of peace in the last century. I'm here because I believe that this initiative deserves great support. The Vietnam War was started on a lie. What broke my heart is when I researched the war in Bosnia, people did know. They did see the pictures, they did watch the news, they did read the reports. The international community did know. We're going to be proud publicly or ashamed publicly and die with either choice. The power of the human spirit and of people to, to go on. The camera is much more powerful than the gun. Let me also applaud Cinema for Peace. Every time you and our friends from the creative community reach out to help people to learn about human rights and justice, you help the UN to keep the peace. I'm allowing to create a comprehensive story through my storytelling <coughs> and then educate the audience about that. Cause them to feel the same pain that I'm feeling when I'm there. Come la tragica pandemia di coronavirus ci sta dimostrando. Abbiamo mancato nel custodire la terra, la nostra casa giardino. L'abbiamo inquinata, l'abbiamo depredata, mettendo in pericolo la nostra stessa vita. Con esso voluto significare l'ineluttabile impegno della Chiesa a salvare le vite dei migranti, per poi poterli accogliere, proteggere, promuovere e integrare. La humanidad vive una crisis que no es solamente económica y financiera, educativa, moral, 